hello friends good morning good afternoon in this session we are going to see cast and convert function in sql server so let's start yeah first thing uh, cast and convert function we will see the definition of it it is used to, to convert the value of one data type to the another data type means let's say there is a value means uh, 55 is the integer value correct and we have to convert into the string let's say varchar 10 we can easily convert but if we have to do the reverse operation means let's say um, uh, abc is the string correct and i have to convert it into the integer it is possible no copy yeah it is in the string and then i have to convert into the integer or float it can be possible no why because it is the alpha miss alphabetical characters which we can't convert but it is the number or uh, let's say there is a decibel number as well means 99 point something that so this is the number and we can convert easily into the string there is a no any problem and second thing about the date related things means let's say today is the if i am going to select the current date select uh, get date then yeah you will get date plus time right and this is the format of that means suppose let's say this is the yy mm dd and this is the time correct if we have to show the date in format like 2023.09.1 so we have to convert the original date means there is a get date whatever the date inside it so we can convert you using the um, convert function with format option okay and first of all uh, yeah cast and convert these are the two functions which we are supporting to transfer the data type means transfer the value from one data type to the another data type and yeah syntax is a very simple means for cast there is an expression as data type means suppose here is 55 or 55 is the value correct and as data type means which data type we have to convert means like in a integer string correct and then length length suppose i have to convert into the varchar and varchar of 10 or varchar of 20 so that is the 10 20 it is the length so and one more thing cast function is the ANSI standard means whatever the sql core sql so that is related to that ANSI standard but convert function is specifically related to the sql server and yeah the syntax of cast function is a very simple means let's say here select cast 5 as varchar 10 means here is the 10 uh, characters inside it and if 5 is the value it will show yeah like a result as 5 if i have to show the number like this means 10 digit or i if i am inserting as a more than 10 right so it will truncate the whatever the greater than the 10 numbers yeah here is the arithmetic overflow because yeah if we uh, add value greater than the 10 numbers then you will get the arithmetic overflow error and if there is a 10 value means let's say how many characters inside it yeah 10 correct means 5 to 1 to 6 it is 5 and this is the value so 10 will be the characters so we can get that number easily with the help of string means that data type and let's say there is a 55 then we can easily show that means we can easily convert into the varchar and another example let's say here is the abc and i am going to convert into the integer is it possible let's try or a big int or a integer yes okay so conversion failed because we are not able to convert that particular value abc value because it is the 
alphabetical characters that's why and uh, if we have to convert that particular value into the string means like a, a let's say in string we can easily convert here instead of the 55 if i am going to convert uh, 20 23 hash then there is a 0 1 means it is the date and i am going to convert into the var 10 var 15 so you will get that means we are converting the date into the string and if let's say another thing here i am going to convert string into the date it is possible no same error we will get because obviously alphabetical characters we are not able to convert into the date and there is a means number we can easily convert into the string date can miss number float that there is a there are different data types available in the sql server correct so those are the supported one means like a, a integer number then there is a date then there is a uh, bit we can easily convert into the string but string which we we are not able to convert into the integer or there is a date that is the thing and next thing convert function what is the syntax of the convert function convert function is the means here is the we have to specify the data type then length means varchar of 10 correct and then expression expression is nothing but the value and then after that style style is applic applied for the means we have to convert the date into the specific format then we can apply that particular style and as i said cast function is ansi standard and convert function is specific function to the related only the sql server and the example of the convert function is select convert means here is the convert is the function then varchar obtain i am going to convert the fifth value means there is a five number into the string and what i am getting yeah there is a uh, number and if i am five then if i am going to convert this then we will get arithmetic overflow error because the string is not occupied with that particular uh, means that number is not occupied in the string so what we have to do we have to put uh, we have to apply means there is a whatever the size of that string yeah so we can easily convert using the if that mm, number is 10 digit then we can easily convert into the string okay and the next example is instead of uh, here is the date and i am going to convert get date this is the real scenario means let's say using the get date we will get date plus time correct or date time offset correct there is a there are different uh, functions as well means like a um, get utc date so let's say here is the get date and get utc date so there is a it contains the uh, five hours difference and yeah miss whatever the uh, right now five plus 30 miss whatever the region based on that it is the differentiate and here i added sys date time means we will get uh, date plus time in a means there is a um, seconds means there is a fraction of seconds up to the seven digit okay and if i have to require miss there is a uh, miss my objective is whatever the date means there is a date offset or there is a um, date time i have to convert into the date only not the i am excluding the time then what we have to do we have to use the convert function date and get utc date sorry get date is the function instead of that get date you can use the get utc date or sys date time okay and you will get the core date and let's say we can try same function in the as a cast cast then 
get you get date as a date yeah there are the different uh, data types means date date time date time to offset and then small date time got it means we are easily convert into the date and we can convert into the time as well here you will get the different in intelligence while converting the data type into the another yeah got it means whatever the uh, time means we can extract the time part or date part from that particular using the cast and convert function okay and same thing will apply at here means first of all we have to mention the data type and then value we have to convert same here here means there is a first of all here is the value and then data type and there is a as is required in the cast and one more thing i have to explain you about the date related things but first of all we will see uh, one short example about this and this is the string means let's say i am applying the uh, data type as a string means there is a declaration of the variable and which is the varchar obtain and assigning this value as a 50 and let's say here is the select str so we will get 50 correct and i have to combine that particular 50 value with our string means here is the string i am going to uh, add the um, yeah is a type of str correct miss this is nothing but the a uh, one string and i am appending uh miss i have to append the 50 with this string so what will be the result set yeah 50 is a type str because the data type of that particular 50 is the varchar means string data type so we can easily do that but yeah there is a next example in let's say here is the we can easily show yeah there is a, a str is the integer and 50 value i assign to it and select str1 got it and what i have to do i have to append means add this uh 50 with as a string how yeah we can do this no because actually conversion is failed what is the option for that means if we have to append such a means uh, either in a post or a pre as a string then we have to convert into the special format like a uh, we have to do in a cast or a convert let's say cast str as a as where care 10 got it okay sorry and uh, yeah miss whatever the value which convert into the string and then we can append it to here got it 50 the string then we will get easily and uh, control this okay and uh, next thing if i am going to use it then we will get error correct yeah here there is a go if we apply the go then it will be separate and then there is no any uh, duplication of um, miss here if i am removing the go go then yeah here will be there there is a already declared that's why so we have to specify the go statement means to the separate the batch that's why and this is our result set okay and next thing the practical example is there is a employee table and in employee table what i have to do i have to apply means let's say this is the other card number and instead of other card there is a social security number as well correct and 
I have to append that other card number with name, first name, last name with other card. Then what we have to do? Select first name, first name, comma, last name. Ideal scenario is control X. Yeah. Then I am going to append. Yeah. Then concatenation yeah and uh, in between first last name and first name there is a um, comma correct so this is the uh, first name comma last name and then what i have to do i have to in bracket i have to mention the other card number means the example look like as sonone manish and in bracket other card number or a social security number so this is my objective to show the data in this format so what i have to do first of all when i am going to append uh, other card with this number and we have to check yeah what is the data type of other card number yeah here uh, from the intelligence we will get yeah it is the big integer so yeah execute it yeah because error error converting white the data type where carry to the big integer number correct so this is the error we are getting so how to resolve that copy it and then um first of all we have to convert into the where care because right now it is the big integer convert or we can use the cast as well right now i'm going i am going to show you with the help of the convert and then convert then data type which data type we have to convert yeah fair care of i am using 15 or i think yeah 12 whatever the specific length we have to mention you can do that and then yeah close it so you will get the data look like as but in between that there is a open parenthesis and close parenthesis so no worries yeah here you can add open parenthesis and you can add the comma in between them then at the end sorry got it you got means actually as you required there is a first name miss last name comma first name and with social security number or other card number and in practical life there is a this scenario means actually we have to do convert means a number into the string and then we can uh, append that particular number to the string and uh, next thing actually uh, related to the date thing uh, first of all we seen yeah there is a whenever we have to transfer means whenever we have to convert the uh, date into the specific format means like a right now it is the simple format it, it is the default format of the sql server means yy four time means yy mm and dd this is the inbuilt format of the sql server but if we have to do the specific format like the uh, let's say um here is the 2023 hyphen or uh, instead of the hyphen i am using uh, mmddyy correct so it can possible with the help of the convert function first of all we have to do into the let's say here is the convert function then instead of the date we have to mention the where care because it will transfer to the um string and we have to mention the a uh, particular style let's say where then there is a i'm assigning the length as a 10 okay and then yeah here is the get date means from get date i have i'm extracting the uh date and trans means uh, converting into the special format let's say i'm going to convert into the 105 and so you will get the date look like as a here mmddyy and 
the date uh, date is transferred into the i am ddmmyy so yeah there is a different different formats are available means let's say hyphen means based on your requirement you can transfer the date into the special format but here we have to mention the data type and that is not applicable for the cast it is available only in the convert functions means with the help of convert function we can uh, convert the date miss whatever the date and time whatever the date we have and into the date time or a date or a time got it and then yeah this is the conversion but yeah in the special format as well miss like there is a iso format or there is a, a british format or there is a others format as well means ansi german italian correct so uh, from microsoft side these are the some different formats they given us means uh, let's say there is a start from the 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 and after that if we have to do the um, conversion with the um, convert with the time only then you can use the 8 or a 108 so yeah here is the am or pm and there is a usa format japan format iso format actually yeah usa is using the mmddyy so 10110 means 110 we have to apply if i am going to convert into the 110 then you will get the date look like as a yeah this format mmddyy got it and yeah again go back to the here and so japan i also so here is the microsoft documentation and you can refer this yeah i am going to show you some uh, different formats as well let's let's say uh, control x uh, search yeah in yeah these are the some different formats as well as some example yeah here is also one chart given by microsoft means which data type is compatible with another data type means when we have to convert the one data type into the another let's say um, here is the uh, integer number where is let's say numeric decimal yeah integer 64 correct and we have to convert into the var char so this is the var char n var char these are the means we can easily convert that this, this is the implicit conversion there are some explicit conversion as well means we, when we have to convert into the sql variant or something like that then we can do that and there is a conversion not null allowed means there is a cross sign is here means there is a unique identifier value we are not going to convert into the um, date time small date time so those are not allowed at here and yeah um, first of all we will see the one example so that you will get the more clear understanding over the over this and uh, here i uh, these are the some different types means first of all this is the data type n var char you can mention right now there is a no any length is mentioned correct and if i am going to showing i means i am going to um, apply the length for that means let's say n var char 5 and you can convert into the var char as well no problem n var char it is the standard one means we are there is a different characters inside it so we can use the n var char and so if i am going to convert so if it will convert into the s actually if before of the n var char uh length then there is a or uh, miss actually length of that particular is miss uh, more than 5 correct and i am going to uh, apply the length of 5 then you will get only the five characters from that that's why yeah no need to mention and if you mention yeah 20 then it's fine then 20 30 whatever you required so based on the conversion you can specify the length or if you not mention it is also fine and uh, next thing uh, let's say we are randomly going into means yeah before of the 108 
means we have to convert the uh, date time into the time then you can use the it and let's say there is a 108 as well One zero eight. Okay, so there is a eight and one zero eight are the similar one, and yeah, you can see there is a five different dates. Miss one zero one. Miss what time explaining you this? Because in reports or uh, on a special region in SQL Server there is a default date. Miss like a uh, four times y mm then dd and we have to show that particular date into the different format like the british format iso format or there is a uh, japan format correct so for that we need a conversion and we can convert the specific date means into the special format like a um, mm dd and then four times y correct here is the yy then dd and then sorry yy then month mm and then dd so same look like at here but actually whatever the date uh, format you required you can do the conversion and there are multiple formats are available and you will refer the microsoft documentation as well so you will e easily convert that got it and yeah I hope so. Uh, you got the clear understanding over it. And if you have to convert the cast operation with um, same thing, miss. Like let's say uh, I'm I have to convert the um, date into the special format like a DDMMYY. Can I? No, because here we don't have any facility to convert the particular date into the special format. But that is the means beautiful thing of the convert function means we are getting the date into the special format as we like got it and the uh, target data type should be a vector if you have any doubts related to the cast function convert function then let me know in the comment section thank you very much for watching this video if you like it please share it and subscribe my channel thank you very much bye bye